called into this world for service, service to God, and service to their fellow Christians. And you better be lo doing this to be a pastor and not to make fun of the really pastor. Added. And if we pick out our church based on what we're going to get, we're really saying we're not planning to give. Give. Now our fellowship is going to have... Did mommy figure you out in there? fellowship has its ups and downs. Just Sorry, like mommy, I have trouble figuring you out in there. Fellowship as a bunch of imperfect people. Is there anybody here who's perfect? Getting... Because if you are perfect, you are in the wrong place, okay? This is not a group of perfect people. As a matter of fact, sometimes people get to church and realize it's more like a real circus, you know? They look at the people... I the think you know what it's like. they realize they're a church with a bunch of bozos, you know? But what do you expect when you have a clown in the pulpit, okay? You're going to have imperfect people in the church with you. We're not here because we're perfect we're here because we want to grow in Christ. I'm really glad that the church is made up of imperfect people because well, I. Oh, we just say grow in a lot. And if you were all perfect, I'd have to go find some other place to be a minister because I would not be the right pastor for you. If we're expecting church to be filled with perfect people who always give to us, we're simply in the wrong place. Like marriages, there are going to be good times, there are going to be bad times. Right by our bods. Sometimes hey. people think this is the best church we've ever been to. This is the perfect oh. place for us I to be. Back up and other times we'll look around and say, why in the heck did I ever join that group? It's the way it works. That's why commitment is so important to fellowship. Look, she's At times we'll only stay as part of a fellowship because she must we have made a promise. And we'll remember that God put us here for a purpose. And then we'll fulfill that purpose you know by that giving police? and supporting and serving yeah. no matter how we feel. You know, the early church was a place that was far from perfect. The first Christians got together because they were bound by their commitment to one another and to the Lord. That was a two basic commitments that everybody made. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. They would recognize then, based on that commitment, that as an individual, they were then supposed hey. to fulfill their call to be Jesus here. Jesus had a fresh teaching, but and I don't know if he was the actual Lord and Savior. That, that right? was what God called him to do. Oh, wait, he is, well, he's the, he is the Messiah. I mean, you got to give Jesus a little bit of credit, but you still got to go straight to Allah, though. Uh -huh. The church may not 
not be all it's cracked up to be, I need to go to place where God has me right now. This oh, you could go God, down to the mass, dude. I doubt that any human organization comes close to perfection. But we are here no, I'm just telling him where he can go to find a place to... One another, and we're called to commit ourselves to that. Some years ago, I was contacted by a member of a nearby church, and he started talking to me and telling me about how his congregation was struggling under poor leadership from their pastor, how dissatisfaction in the congregation was ripe, how people were eat at each other's throats, and you know, as he was talking to me, I got a sense that he was checking me out and wanted to find out if, if there would be room in this congregation for him. I'm going to be honest with you, he was a great guy. He's the kind of person I'd love to have a member here. He was fun to be around. He was highly talented. He was rich. Boy, I'll tell you what, what a great church member he would have made. But, you know, if I had allowed him to transfer, I would have been doing a disservice, of course, to his congregation, which needed him very badly in that time of turmoil, but maybe even more to him, as he broke his commitment to the people he was called to serve with. I'm as rich, result, too. Uh, I'm rich around, too. Is, then join this church. Uh, so I'm rich in the Lord. About a year and a half later, his church came back around. The, they had a I'm rich in change. the Lord. The church began to function the way a congregation is supposed to function, and he was really glad that he hadn't jumped ship too early on. That's the way it should be for all of us. Well, there will be a time from time to time. Good decision, to Pastor. More often than not. We ought to hear Jesus say to us is bloom where I planted you. Well, they really jumped into that song. <laughs> 